This guy from Nigeria is in a lot of trouble. He needs $5,000 from me that I'm going to send him. In return, I'm going to be getting a ton of money from him. For those of us who don't hit delete, those sinister email scams can spell disaster. I don't know if this is a good idea what you're doing here. Why? I mean, this seems, like a, this seems really fraudulent. But so far, every one of these patrons have warned our victim to stay clear even standing up to our scammer over Skype. No, she can't give you the number. She's not going to give you the number. But we wondered, what'll happen if our criminal is closer to home? Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm new to America. I don't have any friends. I just want to be friendly and say hello. So we ask our actors to trade places, bringing our scammer upstairs in the middle of this New Jersey cafe. What, what are you drinking? What is this drink? Chai. Chai? Nice. Like maybe I will order one. Yeah, you should. It's very good. Before long, he's up to his old tricks. But right now, it is very important that I get the bank account right away. And then I will send you three million. Three million? I just can't believe that. It's a part of my inheritance. How can I be absolutely sure that I'm going to get that three million? I, but Kim, I thought that we were friends. I know, but it's, it's don't a you, lot of money. But don't you trust me? But when his victim gets cold feet, he asks for backup from his new friends. Pardon me, I don't want to interrupt again. Please, could you help me really quick? I'm on the computer doing business, and I could you vouch for me being trustworthy? No, no. Sorry. It will take one second. No, sorry. What? You know what? I heard about you people on 2020. Sorry. No, thank you. Do not involve us. She's referring to the report in which our own Brian Ross used his hidden cameras to catch alleged real-life scammers from Nigeria in action. That's a scam. Yes, they made a huge issue about people being on um, the computers and asking people for money. I cannot vouch for a total stranger. I'm sorry. But I thought we were friends. I'm sorry. I, I just met in the in the chai coffee. Sorry, sir. I don't know you. Now that he's busted, he tries another angle. Okay, I understand. I understand. Sorry, I will I give you I will give you a share of the money. She will believe me for sure if she sees you. And then we can split the money. We can split it. You need to be a crook. Not a crook? Uh, no, not no, a crook? I'm, okay, wait, I'm sorry. Not, not a crook. Not a crook. I don't want to be involved. We already said no. Undeterred, our scammer gets back to business, and this other woman has a front row seat. And this is very difficult for me. My poor father was poisoned. There's no time, please. There are very bad men involved in this, and it's very urgent. Just give me the number. Please give me the number. Well, okay. I, okay, uh, okay. Give me the okay, number. I'll give it. I'll give it to you. Okay, it's. Five. Five. Three. After she gives up her bank account number, our scammer steps away. And even though she's on to the scam... Hello, Roz. Is anybody there? Can you see me by any chance or hear me at the next table? This woman stays silent. But watch what happens when our actor returns. Roz, I just have one question for you. Yes. I believe you and everything, but... How do I know you're in Nigeria right now? How do I know that? Kim, we are friends. Of course I'm in Nigeria. <laughs> when she persists, our scammer asks for another favor. Excuse me. Could you tell her we're in Nigeria? Excuse me? That we're in Nigeria. This is the United States. Yeah. Could you just, no, this is just a favor for me. I appreciate it very much. It's a long story, but could you tell her? For you to scam her? To say, scam? Whoa, no, this is my friend. What is she saying? <laughs> Once she's on to him, our smooth-talking scammer tries to cut another deal. Let's make a deal. I'm trying to get money from her. I will let you win on your money. Let's make, just say we're in Nigeria. Excuse me? Just say we're in Nigeria. And I will do it with you. Just don't call the cops or... Kim. Kim, could you say? Excuse me, ma'am. Um, this gentleman is actually in the United States. And it's no. <gasps> what? No. Why would you do this? This is all part of a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> and you got very involved in this. <laughs>
<laughs> you okay? How <laughs> fun. <laughs> What drove you to jump in like that? Because I actually, two years ago, um, I, you know, someone tried to do a scam like that on me. On you? Mm-hmm. And this is Ross. He's actually a nice guy. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. She was giving me a look, and she was like, not today. Not today, buddy. Not today. A day in which good citizens signed on to give our computer novice a little technical support but ended up saving her from making a costly mistake, reminding us all that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is.